first of all, I'd, um, on behalf of, of my staff and, and our team, um, I want to send a, a prayer out and, and a blessing to uh, Butch Marceau and his family um, and what they're going through right now. Uh, it hurts to lose a hockey game, but at the end of the day, it's a game. Um, and so we want to make sure from us, uh, Butchie's been a, um, a beacon for our guys. Uh, Matt Leitner uh, sent out a tweet today that, you know, he loved when Butchie worked his games. Um, so thoughts and prayers uh, to him and his family. Uh, second thing is, is I want to congratulate uh, Ferris State Bob Daniels. Perk, uh, their administration, uh, and their entire team on winning the Broadmoor Trophy. I think it's a difficult trophy to win. As I said, going into the weekend, um, you know, whoever was left standing will, will have earned it, and they earned it. Uh, they deserve to win the game today. Um, and so, uh, from our side also, I want to tip the hat to Ferris State and congratulate them on winning the Broadmoor. Uh, from our side, uh, you know what I thought? Uh, I thought we came out, and obviously we got to break uh, Brad scoring a, a power play goal. And usually when we've got off to score in the first goal, we've had um, some pretty good luck. But I thought Ferris just kept coming, um, and we couldn't we couldn't keep up with their pace. Uh, and so um, thought we were chasing the game quite a bit tonight. Um, it's one of the first times in a long time that uh, we've we've lost the possession battle, but we did tonight. Um, well, that's the game. Uh, so you want to give credit to Ferris because they deserve it. Um, from my side and our staff side. Um, I'm going to miss this group of seniors for uh, obvious reasons. Uh, they've won on 100 games in their, in their four-year career uh, since they've been here. Um, that's on ice. And the things that you don't get to see off ice in the classroom, uh, how they did it uh, over their four-year career, um, we're going to miss them for a lot of different reasons, not just on the ice. So um, tough way to end the season, but I, I do believe Ferris State is going to represent the W. WCHA very well in the NCAA tournament because they're uh, they're battle tested and they proved that tonight. So with that, I'll move on. Questions for coach or the players? Mike, what were they doing particularly well? Uh, a couple things. I thought early they started blowing their their weak side wing and getting out in the neutral zone, and you know they decided they weren't going to allow us to forecheck them. They were going to get it, rip it off the glass, get out into the neutral zone. Um, and then I thought, you know, the difference of that and some other teams that we've played that have played that style, I thought they were really hard. They were strong. When they got pucks on the wall, they had support through the middle of the rink. Uh, they possessed it. Um, and so, uh, to me, we we were in between a lot. Where if, if we didn't get there early, they were relieving pressure by moving a puck. And uh, I just thought that they, again, we were chasing the game most of the night. Um, and when you're doing that, it, it gets to be a long night. Like, did you have any uh, problem with the penalty shot call? No, the only thing, like, <laughs> and I think he got pretty upset with me, and I'm sure I got a little upset with him, but it was all I wanted to ask was if he'd take a look at it. That was all. Um, and if, and what the guy said when we were, um, you know, when it, when it got up on the scoreboard, I think his, his glove did grab it in the crease, and if that happens, that's a penalty. Carter, did you realize that you had done that uh, at the time? Or? Uh, it was just kind of a heat of the moment thing. They were, you know, the puck was in front of the net, and there was a bunch of guys there, and I tried to tried to hit it away, and it was closest to my hand, so I I didn't even think and just hit it. So either one of the players um, going for your third straight um, tournament championship championship here, you got to feel like you have a target, you know, on your back. I mean, did you feel that throughout this tournament? Did it feel, you know, increased this year? Did that come into play at all? Do you feel like? Um, you know what I can say since day one, since I've been here, I kind of echo coach the the seniors that were losing. They they've created a culture of of winning and. 
Um, I can say since I've been here, that's, I mean, the expe expectations are high. So, I mean, yeah, I would say we felt teams were chasing us, but I mean, we've, we've had a group that's been here and done it. So, um, at the end of the day, you got to give credit where it's due. They just, they outplayed us tonight and they deserved it. I mean, I don't think it's really sunk in yet because it's, I mean, it just ended. But I think looking back, I, I feel very fortunate and blessed to have been a part of this program. And I'd like to thank Coach and the staff and the school for giving me that opportunity. And um, <clears throat> I think the thing I'm going to miss most is the guys and kind of the camaraderie we had on and off the ice. So. Anything else? All right, thank you guys very much.